We now know what Neso Hernandez did to violate his parole. According to the parole board, he actually cut his ankle monitor off. He did go back to prison for a few days, but then was released again on an ankle monitor right back onto the streets of Dallas. The Board of Pardons and Parole confirmed to WFAA that Hernandez was arrested in March for violating his parole. He spent 11 days in jail and released again. In June, officials confirmed he cut off his ankle monitor, so was arrested again by Carrollton police. This is video of that arrest. Hernandez spent 100 days in jail and was released again on September 28th. Less than a month later, police say he walked into Methodist Medical Center and killed a hospital social worker and a nurse. He was wearing his ankle monitor at the time. Chief Eddie Garcia has been outspoken for months about criminals committing crimes while on ankle monitors or cutting them off. At what point do we recognize that enough chances for violent individuals and that you need to serve the rest of your time? Um, it, 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 it's, it's, it's the accountability piece, whether it's this, whether it's, uh, whether it's bonds, bails, Things that aren't just occurring here in Dallas County, but across the country. The Board of Pardons and Parole Sources say that it was the Texas Department of Criminal Justice that released Hernandez after 100 days. They say he could have stayed in 180 days for violating his parole. But the board could also have revoked his parole, sending him back to finish the rest of his sentence, which would have been in September of 2023. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.